Carlos Sainz Jr. is looking to recover from a troublesome Mexican Grand Prix at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez with a good showing at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Sainz ran in the top four before spinning in the young stages of the Mexican race, relegating him to the back of the field before he retired on lap 59 with steering troubles. But the Spaniard, approaching his third race for the Renault Sport Formula 1 team, believes that he can break back into the top 10. Mexico was difficult, I had a high-speed spin early on in the race which hampered my running, said Sainz. After the last few races, I think we have a car that can be in the top 10. We need to keep both cars on track and aim for points again in Brazil. We need to fight back. On the subject of this weekend's venue, the iconic Autodromo José Carlos Pays, Sainz admitted that it's not his favorite track on the calendar. The track is obviously nice and you can still feel the vibe from Iron Senna all around. He's still very much in people's hearts, which makes it very special. In actual fact, it's not a track layout I particularly enjoy, but it's one of those historical places in Formula One where you race. There are a lot of stories in Brazil and lots of championships have been won there. The Brazilian culture is pretty eclectic, and, in terms of food, it's probably my favorite destination on the calendar. Despite that, Sainz enjoyed a good race in Sao Paulo last year, finishing sixth for Scuderia Tour Rosso, ahead of new teammate, and Interlagos specialist, Nico Hulkenberg in soaking wet conditions. I had a good race there last year and it was one of my most complete Grand Prix, Ray called Sainz. I was 15th in qualifying, two seconds off the top guys, and suddenly I was racing against them in the rain we were back alive on race day, we got the strategy right and it paid off.